Snowmobiling is made up of two dominant segments, mountain and trail, but there's a third emerging segment that's becoming way more popular over the past couple of years and is truly my favorite part of the sport. Off-trail crossover is what I'm referring to. While the definition of the segment is broad, the sled's requirement are not big power and enough flotation and lug to allow both on-trail cooling and off-trail fun. In my opinion, this segment is 1.5 to 1.75 inches of lug, because the truth is a 1.25 and even the Cobra 1352 are just not enough to get through the really deep stuff. And when it comes to deep snow, there's nothing like big horsepower to help you rotate the track and get you where you want to go, or help get you out of tricky situations. And at the top of the industry sits the king of power, happy, healthy, and worry-free of an uprising as the Arctic Cat Turbo blows the rest of the competition's horsepower numbers so far out of the water, it's in a class of its own by more than 20 horsepower. And when you strap it to this 141-inch XF crossover, you've got a serious mix of power and performance. The rear skid on the cross country is 141 inches and is derived from the mountain suspension, which means that it doesn't have rear torsion springs, it's got a rear arm Fox float. While typically less weight is more, I'd have to say that's just not the case with the cross country, as the rear skid is less than impressive on the trail. But if you're looking for on-trail compliance, buy a 137XF. If you're looking to predominantly rip off-trail, then you're in the right aisle. And while its rear suspension performance is less than desirable, its off-trail, big hit absorption, and flotation are impressive. Okay, so the bad stuff out of the way, I can truly say that I love this sled. I mean, get it off the groomed trail and out into the snow, and that's where this kitty starts to sharpen its claws. With a 1.6 inch lug, the Camelplast grabs a whole lot of snow. The 141 inch length adds extra flotation over the 136 and 137 inch sleds that have become typical in this market. And in the powder, I prefer the 141 over the competition. Throwing your funny bone into the snow and letting the throttle claw the track through the powder hooks is incredible. The XF chassis is begging to be thrown around. Thinking back to the Crossfire chassis, it's amazing to feel just how different this sled is. The big question I get about the XF Cross Country is why choose the 9000 four-stroke over the lighter and still very strong 8000 two-stroke? For me, the decision is easy because its extra weight is more than made up for by its incredible power. And while it may not look like I'm riding at high altitude, today I'm at about 8000 feet. And besides an almost unnoticeable turbo lag, it's creating just as much power as it would at sea level. Can't say that about any other off-trail crossover. The front end of the cross country is very adequate on trails, but it's when you take it off trail in the deep snow that it'll truly accept any terrain you take it to. While many riders are becoming more skeptical about the base model floats on many sleds, they do work incredibly well off trail. Would Evol R or X's add to the cross country? Sure, but they'd also jack the price tag. The standard float 3's just need to be properly adjusted to give you the best on and off trail ride and many people are confused about what a float shock is and how to properly adjust it. But that's another lesson for another day. If you're riding predominantly off-trail and the sales of mountain sleds in flatland geography are showing that many people are, why would you want to limit yourself strictly to powder riding? While I understand the desire to be able to go anywhere on the flats with a mountain sled, the truth is sleds like the XF9000 Cross Country are truly a much better choice. You have the ability to still trail ride if you have a low snow year, you have the resale advantage of a broader market, and truthfully, most flatland off-trail freeriders should be able to take a 141 just about anywhere a 2.5 inch lug will go. The XF9000 Cross Country is an incredibly capable off-trail crossover that'll truly take you anywhere that you wanna go. And with a reasonable track length and lug, you can still have fun on the trails. If you like this video, post a comment and tell us what you think. Then click on this link to subscribe to Snowtracks TV here on the YouTube channel.